and welcome back to Bella Society. Uh, today, we're going to learn about food that is suitable for you, especially if you've got diabetes. Now, there are different types of diabetes, as we may or may not know. I'll be talking to a dietitian very shortly. But next to me right now is Chef Ravindran. Hello. Hi. You're, the, you're one of the master chefs from Colombia, Asia. Yes. Welcome to Bella. Okay. Um, you are Ravindran Madhavan. Yes. Yes. And you, um, you competed in a competition uh, to uh, create and come up with dishes that were suitable for diabetics, yes. I do believe. So, are you a diabetic? No. Nope. Okay, thank God for that. I'm not a diabetic, but my dad has it, so it could possibly pass on to me. So no. I need to be careful, no? Yes. Yes? Yes. So I do believe one of your signature dishes in which you won your competition in was cooking our very own nasi lemak. Yes. And you made it different because? Maybe you'd like to explain to us, what did you do with this nasi lemak? First of all, is, nasi lemak is a very popular breakfast from Malaysia. Yes. So we did it in a way, we used brown rice, uh -huh. and then we used low-fat milk, Okay. and cream santan. So it's possible to have a, a low-sugar so to speak, nasi lemak then? Yes. Because, but does it affect the taste? No, exactly. The taste is almost the same because we are using the pandan extract. Pandan extract is... Yes. Is, is it, how do you get it? I mean, do you have we to actually use the leaf itself or...? The leaf we use to blend the oh. pandan and we just take the extract. I see. So this would be a pandan extract yes, here? Yes, this is the pandan extract. I see. And so this is... Uh, you blend it and how is it like so liquefied? You use we used after blending you just use the strainer to strain off the uh, roots okay and then you're left with this yes. so this helps with the flavor yes. so just a quick one so we've got pandan extract you're going to use for a nasi lemak today and you're using brown rice um and you're, what else do you have here you've got the low fat low fat milk okay so this that is the would low be fat. Okay. And what kind of low fat, like normal low fat milk, or because usually we use condensed milk in nasi lemak, right? No, this is a low fat, normal low an fat. Actual, an yes. actual low fat. Okay, so that reduces the sugar yes. content. And what else do you have in terms uh, of sambal? Sambal, we are just going to use the uh, chili and onion. And no sugar. No sugar. So how does the sambal taste? If it's, it's just not very spicy and a bit of seasoning. Okay, cool. Well, what I'm going to do, right, Chef Ravin, is while you're here cooking this nasi lemak up for us, I'm going to step over to the other set and have a chat with a dietitian who's going to explain to us about diabetes and the food that's suitable. So I'll leave you to this for a few okay, minutes. Thank okay, thank you. Um, hello. You are Chua Kaija. Hello. Hi. Um, we're going to sit here and have a little bit of a chat about right. diabetes yeah. and you know how it affects people's lives. So you are a uh, dietitian. Yeah. How long have you been a dietitian for? I've been a dietitian for the past two years in Colombia. Yeah. Okay. And you, uh, of course, know uh, Ravindran because you are both Definitely. working in the same place. Yeah. So diabetes. There's two types. There's type one and type two, from what I understand. Yes. So right. type one is when you don't produce enough. Insulin. Yep. And type 2 is? The insulin might not be working as sufficiently. I see. And that's yeah. the more common one? Yep. Type 2 is definitely more common I than type see. 1. So Malaysia, I mean, so, mu so many statistics have come out saying mm -hmm. that, you know, we're one of the most obese mm -hmm. countries in Southeast Asia. That's awful. Why mm -hmm. is this so? Is it our diet or what exactly is it? Yeah, I think, I think both contribute. You see, one is a diet because we tend to have a lot of too delicious food around, yeah. which are high in fat, high in sugar, and things like that. Yeah. But of course, as as Chef Ravi has said, everything can be modified and we can mm. simplify that and make it healthy at the same time. Even our lasi lemak can be made healthy. Like I can cool. see. Yeah. So you've got an actual book. This is a recipe book that's created by Columbia Asia, mm. and it's the ten delicious diabetic friendly books. So um, where can people get this? Uh, it can be found in every Columbia outlets now. Okay, yeah. and inside there you've got lots of different types of um, recipes besides nasi lemak. What else is in here? Um, there is nasi dagang, there's mm. bubo lambo, all the local Malaysian dishes. Because we're trying to tell people that you can still enjoy all these local dishes even if you are diabetic, you just need a little modification. But you, when you talk about modification, you know, yeah. it sounds like it's quite mm. simple, mm -hmm. but does it affect the taste of our food? Because we like our stuff to be manis. We like yeah. our lemak, you know? True. Is it lemak that is the most important thing when it comes to diabetic food or is it the manis? 
Okay, when it comes only. to diabetic food, mm. number one most important would be carbohydrate, okay. which most probably will be contributed by the manis. sugar and your money. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But you also have to at the same time take care of all the fats and all. But you will be secondary to it. Right. So as yeah. a dietitian, if somebody comes to you and they've mm -hmm. got diabetes, mm -hmm. um, you know, what's the first thing you do? I mean, obviously you're going to measure their glucose in yeah. the blood. And what are some of the immediate changes that they can make, say, uh, for breakfast, uh, starting off with breakfast? What shouldn't they, shouldn't they eat, okay. for example? Basically, the most important thing when it comes to a diabetic diet is you have to take care of the six items. Okay, which okay. is? Which is your cereal base, like your rice, noodles. We all have that for breakfast. Your yeah. roti chana are all cereal so base. So roti right? chana is a no-no? It wouldn't say no, no, but portion size is very important. Mm. Yeah, I said to control the portion size. So cereal base, legumes and nuts, sugar, mm -hmm. milk, fruits, mm -hmm. And the last one will be your tubers, your ubi ubi. Your ubi ubi. Yes. So basically, it sounds like the carbs are the ones that we have yes, to control for. Carbs. And and so once we've controlled for the carbs, um, you know, I mean, so a little bit of sugar here and there still hurts a diabetic diet. I would. I mean, say how do you keep know? Keep it to the minimal amount. Yeah, and what about see? substitute sugars? Can we use substitute that? Substitute sugar. Are you talking about false sweetener? Yeah? yeah, false like sweeteners. Can we use that instead? Um. You can, but I would say it would be better to go natural, right? Such as? Yes, natural like fruits. Mm -hmm. Like today, our chef might be doing one pancake, which are using the fruits, natural fruits, just banana and sweetener. Right. Yeah, to give it a taste of sweet, but it's natural, so you don't really need to use fruit. Uh, so it's okay then, you're saying, to have fruit, because some people believe that as a diabetic, you can't have fruit as, as well, that it's, it's not good because it raises mm. your sugar level as well. It does. Uh, but you have to take it in a control portion. Okay. Yeah, like for example, what I always share with my patient mm. is whatever can fit in your hand. You see, the portion size, it matters. So how then, are, if we go to the mama, say, mm -hmm. you know, and we want to order our like Milo ice ke, mm. and stuff like that, how do we... <laughs> So is it just like kurang gula, kurang manis? Is that is that the best that we can do? Uh, you can go for kurang manis. Mm. That's one of the way. And there, if it's another person, if like me, for example, mm. I'm someone that I love food a lot. Or yeah. that I enjoy me every too. food. Love it. Yeah. Mm. So what I do is I don't go kurang manis, but I only take quarter or maybe half of it. I won't finish it. Oh. Yeah, sharing. You know, you can share your food. Then you won't be taking so much of sugar in, right? Okay, but if you have no one to share it with, then how? Mm, then you <laughs> must find a friend that you can go to mama with. you share it with the rest of your body, then <laughs> habis lah. You know, speaking mm -hmm. about sharing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what about pregnant women? You know, if a pregnant woman, mm -hmm. uh, how can she actually control? Because I, I read somewhere, you can mm -hmm. tell me if I'm right or wrong, that if you're pregnant, you're not diabetic, and then you eat a lot of sugar, mm -hmm. it can actually contribute towards your child having mm -hmm. diabetes or insulin resistance disorder. Is that true? Okay, diabetes, um, I mean, a pregnant lady, uh, mm. they're ha having hormonal changes and mm. things like that, right? So they're a bit prone to uh, having uh, diabetes that just, we call it gestational diabetes mellitus, which is they're only diabetic only during the pregnancy period. What? So you can just become a diabetic when you're pregnant? It doesn't happen to everyone, but it might. And then what All happens? Right. I mean, I thought pregnancy is the time of your life when you get to eat whatever you want. Not really. No. <laughs> I've not been there yet. Okay. There goes that plan. Mm -hmm. During pregnancy, you have to really take, take care of your weight gain, actually. What? Yes. I thought I was... Never mind. Okay, this, this show is <laughs> completely traumatizing me. So what can a pregnant woman do then, for example? Okay, I would strongly recommend that you can go to a dietitian because during the pregnancy, first trimester, second trimester and third trimester, yeah. actually you, have, you need different nutrients and different energy and different carbohydrates amount at the three different levels of time. Right. Yeah. Well, you know... The thing is with Malaysians, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so Columbia Asia, obviously you're doing your part towards, mm -hmm. you know, helping with the education of this. And yeah. what a cool thing. Why did you put together this competition or this cooking um, situation in the first place? To get people to be more aware? Or what was it? Where did it stem from? Why did you guys start doing this? Actually, the reason why we started all this is just to create the awareness that actually diabetic patients, we have a lot of diabetic people around and they can actually still enjoy the local dishes. Right. That's the, the reason of the competition. With just little modification, we are trying to help the diabetic friends around that they can still enjoy. What's food, like the see? worst diabetic-related disease or situation that you've seen I as a dietitian? 
I would say renal disease. You know, you renal have kidney, disease. Your, your problem with your kidney, you have to go for dialysis. I find oh, it dear. quite bad. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't really think that far. You know, they mm. just think, oh, my blood sugar is a bit high, I'm mildly diabetic, um, nothing bad will really happen. You know, no, they don't think that, that, that That's not true. I, I would say that when you're newly diagnosed, right, mm. it's time. You know, you better start taking care of your food and go for your checkups, mm. go to the healthcare team, yeah? You're taking care of it since early everything under control then you will be fine because you can die right yeah. I mean let's just be honest here yeah. I mean if you don't take care they do say you are what you eat and if you have that condition and you continue to feed yourself with a condition like that then you yeah. are asking for trouble then aren't you yep. so any uh, you know it's, it's just on a last note here is mm -hmm. diabetes reversible not really but you, as long as you are taking care by food and medication and the me healthcare team are with you, you should be okay. Oh, we are dear. trying to control and mm. we are preventing the further complications. And are there more Malaysians getting diabetes now? Yes. Well, that's um, not very sure. good, is it? Yeah. Anyway, Chef uh, Ravin, um, are you almost done there? Yes, good. Would you like to come and show us what you've created? So I do believe, come, let's have a sit down and take a look at this wonderful nasi lemak that wow. you've created. Okay, now portion size obviously is going to be different to what we were used to, kan? Yeah. Cannot lah makan yang sama, kan? Kalau dah diabetic, kan? So what is going on here? There's cornflakes. Yeah, Apakah? This is, this is a chicken that we marinated with cornflakes. Wow. And we this bake. So we don't cool. fry it or anything. We bake for the patients. So you bake it yes. instead. And you're using cornflakes and what? How do you make the cornflakes stick? Uh, we just uh, egg wash with uh, flour and oh. the cornflakes on top. So I can make fried chicken, instead of frying it, bake it with cornflakes yes. and eggs. You will have the <laughs> crunchiness. <laughs> so this is the brown rice? Yes. What else is in there? Because I can so, see some things inside okay, the, the rice. Okay, the brown rice, I have already mentioned that uh, the extract of pandan, pandan leaf. Oh. And then we have the achar rampai that is cooked to low salt, low sugars. Fantastic. Is that sesame seeds yes. on the top there? And you're still using garlic and stuff yes. in there. And of course your timun. Timun's not going to affect your diet, your diet. So we'll just chew away on our cucumbers. And of course the sambal that you mentioned which doesn't have sugar. Yes. Wow. Well, you know, uh, unfortunately for all of you viewers, you're not here right now. I'm going to sit down and chow down and eat this right now uh, while we take a break. Um, and when we come back, we're not finished, are we? Because we've got another dish yes, with exactly. you. And you're going to make us a dessert because a lot of us think dessert, how love? Dessert mm -hmm. is so fattening, <laughs> sweet. Again, but I do believe you've come up with some recipes for dessert as well mm, at yes. Columbia Asia. So for any of you who want to cut back on your sugar, even if you don't have di uh, diabetes, you know, you're just looking after your weight and you don't want to get to that situation, you know, don't go anywhere because in Bella Society we're going to talk further to uh, Chef Ravinder who's going to show me how to make a dessert using oatmeal. You're going to make a yes, pancake, a I do pancake. believe. And more celebrity news after that, so don't go anywhere and stick with us on Bella Society. Great. So, I think I'm so there you go if you have children or if you're watching this and you're young, you know, you need to take care of your health as well. It's not just all about the adults. And, uh, you know, as they always say, prevention is better than cure, especially when it comes to diabetes, because as we learned earlier on from the dietitian, it's not reversible. So that's quite a scary thing. But we can still enjoy our food, apparently, according to uh, Columbia Asia, and we can still enjoy our desserts. And because of that, once again, <clears throat> just to introduce from Columbia Asia, our master chef, we've got uh, Chef Ryan. Hi. So you made us a wonderful nasi lama and now you're going to make us a dessert, I believe. And this is, what is this exactly? This is a pancake that we mix with oats, low fat milk. Okay, and again. We need banana or any fruits that make the sweeter bit. Right, and um, the reason why we're doing this, of course, you know, I was talking to Chef Ravin off, off camera just now is because so many people have diabetes in Malaysia, it is a, a problem. And some of the signs you were mentioning just before we get into it is, you know, frequently going to the toilet and also it, your vision becoming affected and your body size changing. Yes. You yourself don't have uh, don't diabetes, have. Uh, thankfully. Anyone in your family that nobody, has it? Nobody, nobody. No, and you have children yourself? Yes, I have a uh, son with 20 years old. Okay, just one child, a yes, 20 year old. Only. Is he a chef as well? No, he's uh, studying for DOSH. Wow, okay. And, and does he like dessert? 
Yes. Do you do you have you always been cooking um, healthily, or have you just started cooking healthy? We just started healthily. So before this? Before I was when in the hotel, I don't usually go for healthy food. Right. After I joined Columbia Asia, yeah, I began to work hard with my dietitian to work to change. Yes. And has it affected your health? Have you become healthier yourself? Yes. So when you cook at home and in general you cook healthier then? Yes. Lovely and so I mean that's good for your wife and your child and, yes. and, and your whole family and you'll live longer. How old are you? 26? I'm 51. 51, oh, okay. Just just trying anyway. You know, you're supposed to say you look 26. <laughs> anyway. Didn't do it so that's fine. <laughs> so let's talk about oatmeal pancakes. So what do we do? In this bowl right now you've already mixed it. What yes. have we got here chef? We've got... We have uh, oats. Mm -hmm. Uh, low fat milk mm. and banana. Okay, that's all. What about and baking powder? A bit of baking powder. Okay. And egg. And egg. And what are you going to do? You're going to whisk it. Yes. And uh, this is obviously better for you. A substitute instead of using low fat milk. Usually people will use what, chef? What is the usual unhealthy way? Fresh, full cream mm. milk. And people use sugar, right? Yes. So that's what you used to make. We used to make, but now I'm using only uh, fresh. Uh, fruits. So then we have to be careful in the selection of our bananas because they need to be sweet, obviously, don't yes. they? Um, uh, so that it substitutes for the sugar. Mm. Okay. So then you've got your, your frying pan, your usual yes. frying pan, and you're not using any oil? No, very little bit. Uh, A little bit? Yes. What kind of oil can you use? We are using corn oil. Okay. Can we use olive oil? Yeah, olive, is, olive oil is not suitable for this. Why? Because it uh, burns the, this one. Oh, the pancake itself? Yes. It's not going to come out nice and brown? Yeah. Okay, so you put in... Uh, the uh, do we call this dough or do we call this what would you call this? Uh, this is paste? Beta, something like a beta. Okay, and then you put the bananas on top yes. of it. So I can make this at home for breakfast then yes, easily exactly. in the morning. And so this will not impact my blood glucose level too much. It's, yes. Is it low? It's low in the GI scale, I'm assuming, because yes. there's no sugar in there, isn't it? Yes. Okay. And how long does this take to it's make? It's just about well, uh, four to five minutes. So what can we put on the pancake? I mean, what if people like, you know, usually people put syrup and stuff like that. So what, what can we use instead as a substitute? You don't use uh, syrup because it's contained of sugar. Yes. We just have more fruits like green apples. Oh, so we can put more fruits in there. Yes. What about nuts, chef? Nuts is advisable. Yeah? Yes. Can we use raisins? Because raisins are... Raisin is a bit sweet. Oh, so that's not good for the, yes. the blood sugar level. Yes. Okay. So bananas then? Bananas, green apples. Okay. It's advisable for you to use green apples. All right. So for you now, this is the kind of cooking that you do. So why did you enter this competition, chef? Okay, this is the first time that Colombia Asia have been uh, making this event and it was a very successful for all the Colombia Asia chef okay. who joined us. All right, how many of you were there? We were nine of us. Okay. So uh, the very nice competition they had for this year. Okay. So we made it very well organized. And, and, and I'm proud to be one of the winner. Yes, I know. Congratulations <laughs> on that. With your nasi lemma, I do believe. Yes. So if I make this at home, um, you know, I can have it for snacks as well. It doesn't have to just be for breakfast. You yes, can have it exactly. As a dessert. Correctly. Mm, okay. So what else do you cook in a more healthier way, chef? I mean, your nasi lemma, you've got your pancakes. What else have you made and uh, adjusted for diabetes? Okay, like uh, for diabetes, uh, we have, uh, we'll deal with the uh, dietitian yes. what are advisable to give to the patient yes so the dietitian, dietitian will advise us so what other dishes like nasi what other kind of uh, dishes do you make usually they have like steamed chicken okay and uh, steamed fish Ah, I see. Okay. And what about things like birthday parties and stuff like that? Because, you know, kids and adults, we like, you know, our celebrations for Raya and Christmas coming up, etc. How can we make our desserts more diabetic friendly, chef? What can we do? Because, you know, sweetness is something that we like. I mean, how? You What's the solution? You can have the uh, f sweet, but not a lot. Okay. You control your diet. Okay. It's, it is more advisable to control your diet. Okay, but controlling is easy to say because at the end of the day, if we want something sweet, then how? You know, I mean, how do you do this yourself? 
Because like me, I just control. I don't use a lot of sugars for okay. cooking. Okay. Less oil. Yeah. So and I don't use santan. I see. Okay, no santan. That's kind yes. of difficult because Malaysians. That's what like our number one ingredient. Yes. So how can we replace it? Low fat milk and pandan extract. I, I, we can replace with uh, low fat milk. Yeah, like, you know, like kuih seri muka and kuih talam and all these things, you know, how can we make these desserts? These are our traditional desserts and, and, and not have sugar in there. Actually, we can have the evaporated uh, full milk. Okay. But it's not advisable a lot. Okay. So instead of that, you would use um, something else? Is there another substitute? Can we use sugar substitute? Minimize the sugar. Okay, so it all comes down to basically using less sugar in your diet. There's no sort of quick fix, there's no fast way about it. That means that we have to adjust our palate. We cannot, like, you know, always enjoy our sweet food. That's yes. a challenge then as Malaysians, you know? Yes. With our tetari and stuff, so how? Tetari, you don't drink with don't this. Drink. <laughs> you just ask for tasty. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, thank you, Chef. Let's take a look at some of the pancakes once they've been done. So um, this is what you can have for breakfast or, you know, if you're making some desserts for the kids instead as an alternative. Actually, you could have this instead of your roti again. So you've got your bananas in there and you were saying you can put apples in there. And, yes. And can we do walnuts, almonds, things like Walnut, that? Walnuts, yes. I mean, nuts can, yes. possible. Okay, so there you go. Thank you very much, Chef uh, Ravindran Matavan from Columbia, Asia. Uh, for making us a healthier version of nasi lemak and a healthier pancake, you know, without sugar. It's possible. So that means there's no excuse. So what are we all going to do now? We can't make an excuse and say, no, you know, what can we do? You know, it's just the way it is with our diet. So we can actually change it if we want to. Thank you for being on the show. When we come uh, back on Bella Society, we're going to be talking about uh, the entertainment industry. There's a new singer in Indo Indonesia. She has meletop completely. All of that uh, coming up on Bella Society.